What does the dictator fear the most? Opposition. For Russian President Vladimir Putin, that opposition comes from Alexei Navalny. He's been taken a political detainee in Russia. Before I tell you all about the latest development, here's a quick recap. Alexei Navalny is a 44-year-old lawyer and activist. He has a considerable political base in Russia now. Unlike oligarch-turned-activist Mikhail Khodorkovsky or chess champion-turned-activist Garry Kasparov, Navalny's political movement has withstood the test of time and the assault of Putin's dictatorship. In August last year, Navalny was poisoned with a nerve agent. He survived that attack and became a household name globally. Kremlin expected neither. Navalny recovered in Germany and returned to Russia on Sunday. Navalny had called on his supporters to greet him at Moscow's Nukovo airport. But his flight never landed there. It was diverted to another airport and Navalny was detained on landing. What for? Russia says he breached the terms of his suspended sentence from a 2014 fraud conviction. For those following Russian politics, you would know this is but an eyewash. So how is Russia planning to justify Navalny's arrest and silence critics abroad? Navalny says the Russian Federation and personally President Vladimir Putin poisoned me and this is perceived by the West without any rejection. But we have facts only in the form of all that Navalny testifies at interrogation of German law enforcement structures. This is the only official word we have so far. Such is Russia's desperation to jail Navalny that it came up with a makeshift courtroom inside a police station. Independent media was barred from the hearing. Navalny's own lawyers were informed about it only minutes before the hearing began. A mockery of justice. That's what Navalny is calling this entire affair. I've seen a lot of nonsense in justice. It seems that the grandfather in the bunker is so afraid of everything that they just defiantly ripped up and threw away the code of penal procedure. What is happening here is just impossible. This is ultimate lawlessness. Grandfather in the bunker was a reference to Vladimir Putin. The dictator wants to punish Navalny for being a political thorn, for surviving nerve agent attacks and for coming back to Russia with a political base stronger than ever. Much of Navalny's international support comes from the West. European Union member states were quick to react to the news of his arrest. German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas said Navalny's arrest was, quote-unquote, totally incomprehensible. Austria called for his immediate release. Britain's Foreign Secretary said the detention was appalling. The United States too released a statement. It said, and I'm quoting again, confident political leaders do not fear competing voices, nor commit violence against or wrongfully detain political opponents. There's a growing clamor in favor of Alexei Navalny in Russia too. It is an incredible opportunity to prove the fearlessness of this person. If he would have stayed there, everyone would have forgotten about him. He came back and he will be remembered here. Russians are celebrating Navalny from his poisoning to his detention. Kremlin's attacks on this opposition leader have all but boomeranged. The moves may prove to be expensive for Putin in an election year. Russia's lower house, the Duma, is headed for polls in September. The party loyal to Putin, United Russia, holds 338, 338 of the 450 seats, an overwhelming majority. While Navalny is not running for office, his growing support may change the fate of those who are. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.